12 Overwatch World Records. Now, this is a very hard video to make since there's no real Guinness World Record book for Overwatch, but buckle up because I have some really unique ones like this very, very first one, which is the most ever amount of damage from a Genji ultimate. 34,000 damage. Or the longest Overwatch Pro League match in history. This VOD clocks in at three hours long. It was insane. It is San Francisco Shock versus Vancouver Titans. And no matter where you skip into the VOD, hype is real. To find some extra kills, but he falls flat once more. The Shock have one more chance. And what's crazy is not only the fact that they went map after map after map, but these gamers were playing for three hours straight. These commentators had to stay focused on the strategies, the team comp, and the moves of every single player for three hours. Right now, you're watching map four first to four, right? But then it keeps going all the way to map seven. Imagine after three hours, the very final team fight to end it all. Okay, but what if you want to get back down to reality, move away from the pro plays? What's the fastest way to get an entire team kill? And I believe in Overwatch 1 and in Overwatch 2, the most accurate and fastest way to get a team kill is a Symmetra X Diva combo, as you teleport your mech straight into five or six of them, in Overwatch 1's case, and instantly delete them. It's just instant. It's the fastest way to kill everyone. I still think this holds true. Now, obviously, if everyone is low and you Reaper ult, it might be a little bit quicker, but this one is consistent. You get that teleport in the middle, the minute it blows up they're just dead and speaking about just being dead imagine getting uh yeah this many kills let's wind it back a second what you're watching here is not only 12x the speed but then i also sped it up 400 within sony vegas yet still look how slow that payload is moving it, this happened in total mayhem and of course all credits and sources are down below but it was the longest overwatch game ever ever right now they're 23 minutes in right at the start of the first section this next cut 45 minutes and 37 seconds in this is absolutely insane it was so long that when the guy tried to show us the replay footage even though the replay footage went way past the allowed time the footage would just turn black they just wouldn't the next cut one hour and 21 minutes in imagine sitting there playing a total mayhem for over an hour and 20 minutes <laughs> could you how do you get the mental capacity to even go that long the fact people didn't just completely leave or quit i don't know huge kudos they just absolutely massive for everyone who played it through the amount of damage stats healing mitigated everything that went through this game is insane look how fast someone leaves at the bottom of the scoreboard they're just out of they alt f for the minute this shit was done mind blowing what is the most amount of damage you can do in overwatch 2 with one single shot and that's exactly what this guy does the world record for the most amount of damage in a single shot now keep in mind this is actually replicatable in game he didn't just use anything willy-nilly like we did in the very first clip instead this has to work in game, game competitive or quick play. This would consist of an Ana on your team for nano boost, which is a 50% increase, a Baptiste for window, which would give two times damage, and then an Echo on your team who can duplicate the enemy Baptiste for another window, which actually makes it three times damage instead of four times. After putting on two windows with a nano boost on your Roadhog, a single Roadhog shot will do 1,000 155 damage 1155 damage is absolutely insane but what's even more insane is getting that damage back yes this is overwatch one overwatch one's world record for the most amount of healing 44,335 is my is the personal record that i could find in a competitive game in a real overwatch competitive game this dude is absolutely insane on the moira and the story only gets crazier not only did he heal 44 thousand healing but he played insanely well while doing it furthermore this is a top 500 lobby which makes everything way more impressive he can't just get picked off like left and right he needs to stay vigilant he has to stay perfectly positioned and he has to play i mean very skillfully top 500 is absolutely no joke but it begs the question in overwatch 1 if 44,000 was the world record for healing then what was it in Overwatch 2? Same basis. I'm talking about competitive, ideally high ranking, etc., etc. Well, my man, it's the same dude. This exact dude 
did it again. Now, this one's actually more impressive, even though the healing total is only 32,000. And the reason is because this was a 16 minute game, meaning the amount of healing per minute or healing per 10 minutes is massive. And that is added on top of the fact that Overwatch 2 has one less tank, one less player that you can heal, which is a massive health pool completely written off the table. That means his healing rate in Overwatch 2 exceeded that of Overwatch 1. Now, I need to preface, there's no proper leader reward in terms of who actually got the most amount of healing in one game and i'm looking at a real proper overwatch game not total mayhem etc etc but even when i tried to use statistics or search around for a long time this was the highest that i could find and it definitely helps the fact that he is a high elo player okay but what about the fastest overwatch game ever the fastest instead well, the first one that most people think of is actually Siegel's game because he completed this game in 1 minute and 17 seconds. Just, uh, I mean, you're, you're watching this with me, right? Absolutely massive. Siegel is the GOAT and this was OG. This clip, this video is OG. It blew up. But what if I told you this wasn't the fastest? And that's the game, man. 117. 1 minute, 17 seconds. You guys can't see it because of the overlay, but it's there. Instead, uh, these people are the fastest game I could personally find in Overwatch. Now, it also happened in Overwatch 1, and that's because 2CP. Without 2CP, I don't think these are possible. The fastest Overwatch 2 game is kind of a different topic because of the removal of 2CP. And you know what's funny is, as I'm explaining that, they're already capping the first point. This should kind of put you on track to realize how fast this game is gonna be. Actually, it's so fast that I don't even think I need to cut anything whatsoever. They dominate the first point and it's speeding. Yeah, it's it's not even 30 seconds yet. It hasn't been 30 seconds yet. And then they race over to the second one. They're starting to get extremely hyped. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck is this? This, this should not be working. Go, 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 straight below this point. Soldier behind you, soldier behind you. Oh my god, get off the point. Go, go. No, I refuse. Go, 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 go. <laughs> nah. Shut up a minute! Less than a minute! <laughs> Less than one minute. Now, granted, it's 59 seconds, but you know what? They get the title. They deserve it. But what about the most amount of kills within the Overwatch League? Well... <sighs> yeah, Ensign Sniper, let me just say, the pro Widowmaker is also very prolific on Ash, and anything to do with aiming gets 90 final blows within the Overwatch League. Now, yeah, I'm talking about the most amount within a real competitive high-ranking game within... Uh, we're talking about pro. We're talking about the Overwatch league here this dude is a machine now keep in mind in the overwatch league they do play more than one map it is multiple matches string together but it just you know it doesn't doesn't change the game when it comes to a string of matches in one sitting in one go this dude got 90 and that is top of the top all right but what about the most amount of kills in one single game this has to be measured by eliminations per 10 minutes now if we use something like overbuff it actually says that the most amount of eliminations per 10 minutes in overwatch 2 as of now is 22 point three five but i'm calling cap the reason being is even if this is sorted by quick play the most is still 30 kills per 10 of limbs but what you've been seeing in the background is j3 who gets 70 kills in overwatch better yet overwatch 2 but if we do the math on that based off of the time of the game which you can see at the end scoreboard he would have been at 37 eliminations per 10 minutes which is absolutely massive and blows anything that overbuff has on their statistics and since then i went through countless youtubers clips etc and i couldn't find in an actual game in a normal overwatch game something more than what i saw j3 pull off but what about overwatch's fastest speedrun well speedrun.com has the most boring versions of speedrun. I mean, they literally have like practice range runs. So then what this YouTuber did is speed ran every single achievement in Overwatch and he got every single one. Yes, even those extremely hard ones in 10 hours. I really don't need to say more. I can only show you so much. So please go watch this video because it's amazing. And number 12, what is the maximum amount of healing within Overwatch? And what we're referring to here is healing per second. Well, this YouTuber went ahead and found out with us with three Zenyatta as well as Anana. It peaks at 2,160 healing 
per second. That is absolutely massive. Are you watching this? My mind is literally blown. Imagine if 2,160 people hit the subscribe button per second. Let's try to get that done down below. Okay, bye.